Ah, sh it was my tent bag. Really, really cold today. Hi, I'm Frosty and welcome to Frosty Push up and do it yourself Well, something was wrong there, wasn't it? So we are back in the field uh, We have uh, this beautiful forest around here And we have one project that you're gonna see But uh, yeah, we didn't want to leave you without a bit Both of us So uh, yeah, today some shelter, some food, some everything And the key best ball Yeah, you can sign up we are here in this beautiful place and really cold weather with a bunch of snow we'll make some shelters some food, have some fun and stay tuned check this out isn't this just <laughs> perfect? And uh, yeah, today I'll be sleeping in my tent. I'll put it, uh, well, I'll put it right over here somewhere. And uh, yeah, I'm not really protected from wind, but I'm in a tent, so yeah, I'll be fine. And uh, today should be really cold. And the night should be really, really cold, but uh, yeah, I've got a good sleeping system and uh, yeah, time to make my camp and enjoy my time here.
this is my favorite way to tie paracord to anything. You put it like this, you make a simple loop, and then one more loop and tighten it. And this holds really well. And when you're done, that's it. This is how it's supposed to look and this is how it looks when you're camping with Ref. One of the things I always carry with me is a bit of duct tape or gorilla tape. And today I'll do, I'll do this. And if you're thinking it's cheating, well, maybe it is. But this sleeping pad is really comfortable, but its insulation properties are, well, non-existent and uh, this foam right here has excellent insulation properties but it's not comfortable oh. Oh, this is going to be <laughs> Ah, oh, this is going to be excellent. Oh, this is actually so comfy, I could take a nap right now. Maybe I will 
Uh, okay, nap time is over. Let me show you something I made years ago and I still use it on occasion and it's this right here. This is my homemade uh, fat wood, fat wood and uh, you make it but uh, by taking uh, <coughs> dry pieces of well, whatever wood you like. Uh, I use some uh, pine and uh, some beech. And you boil it in uh, paraffin wax until the bubbles stop uh, coming out from it. Then you just let it uh, cool, wipe it and uh, that's it. It uh, catches fire real good and it's not easy to blow out. <laughs> I have something to spoil myself with. Check these bad, bad boys. These are two chakai, I think they're called chakai, yeah, chakai steaks. And I can't wait to bake these bad boys. If you notice that uh, something is missing, you're right. Left's not with me today. I couldn't take it and uh, this is the first time in three years that uh, I'm out outdoors without him. So yeah, I'm a bit sad about it and I <laughs> miss his company but uh, well, he'll, he'll go with me next time. So. So good. Haha. <laughs> Finally something that isn't wet. Uh, it's really cold but it's dry and today I'm feeling lucky and I'm betting I can get the fire going with my first uh, let's say first three strikes on my ferro rod.
That's it, that's it. Come on, come on. Come on, that's it. Yeah. And we've got fire. For now. I got fire and I have to find some hardwood and then I'll make my meal. <laughs> I can't wait for it. Two steaks today. Mm, lucky me. Time to get my dinner ready. And I wonder why why my gear is full of holes. This looks delicious and it's perfectly cooked and yeah I'm gonna share my meal with the rest of the guys and spend some time with them so I'll see you guys a bit later this is just amazing we have a full moon and uh, you can see everything and it's just it's just perfect Hi guys, it's around uh, 11 p.m. and uh, yeah, I'm ready to <coughs> I'm ready to go to bed. I'm just 
really tired. It was an awesome day, we had some fun and we enjoyed this place. And yeah, now it's time to get some rest. It's really, really cold today, and uh, yeah, good thing I have good insulation and uh, decent sleeping bag. And I actually ordered the new sleeping bag from Carinthia. Can't wait to get it. And yeah, you can probably hear the wind outside, and it's just so relaxing. <laughs> So, yeah, see you guys in the morning. One more thing I want to say is uh, when it's cold, really, really cold, a um, good thing to have are those uh, little chemical heaters and you can put them in your boots so they don't freeze during the night and if you don't have them then well the best thing to do is to sleep with your boots on and it's not really comfortable but yeah, better than trying to get your feet in frozen boots in the morning so yeah that's it see you guys in the morning Guys, check this out. <laughs> this is my tent from inside. One thing I always do as soon as I wake up is I'll, I pack all my stuff so everything is nice and tidy and ready to go.
I left my food hanging from this branch right here and look where I found it. So Fox is one, frost is zero. See this mess? There's a bunch of my stuff and this is my tent bag. Well, <laughs> it was my tent bag. Yeah. They ate everything except <laughs> this thing. So, Fox stole my food and uh, tore my tent bag. And this is actually the second time Fox has outsmarted me on this location. And first time was, I, I want to say five or six years ago, there was a bunch of us, I think 12 or 13, and uh, it was evening, we were sitting around the campfire telling stories and one of the dogs, uh, I think he smelled a fox uh, maybe 20 meters from us. And of course we all got up and took our cameras and started following the fox and you know, taking pictures. And while we were doing that, another fox came uh, behind our back, it got in my shelter, opened my backpack you know, it was just uh, cinched tight with the cord and uh, took everything uh, from my backpack and on the bottom I had food and he took my food back and uh, ran away. And actually I saw it, we, we, were, uh, we were just turning back and I noticed you know, eyes glowing in the dark and when I, when I got a bit uh, closer I saw a fox with a bunch of sausages in his mouth. So, <laughs> yeah, Fox is too frosty zero. <laughs> Hey look, it's a flying tent. Guys, if you like this channel and want to help it grow, please subscribe and you can like, comment, share and all the other stuff. And yeah, that's it.
Yeah, it's nothing to show you the view I have.